Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to Luna Classic video update for Monday is 19 of September. Uh, I'm looking at Luna Classic right now at the moment and uh, you know there are another hints, there are another clues that I came up with that tells me that we are gonna go down here, okay? At least 15,000 is something that Luna Classic has to come down to. Uh, we're pretty much, you know, it's just a ma matter of time before we make that, you know, at least 42% drop to the downside. Yes, it's happening. It's going to happen. Okay, it's going to happen. Now, uh, previously, a lot of people didn't believe when I told them it's going to go down. It's the time of distribution. And, you know, I'm not bearish at all. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's just overextended. Like, look how much this coin went to the upside. You went 559% move to the upside, right? 559% is huge, okay? And when you do something like that, as a matter of fact, if you look at the all-time low to, to this place, that's a 1,000% move up, 10x move to the upside. Not only that, now you're retracing down like 45, 47% or maybe 70%. That was overdue, and this is something that is required in the market. Some you you push up, you come down for correction, you make impulsive move, you come for correction. It's just like that, and it's gonna always be re remaining like that. Now, um, that small explanation is out of the way. Number one, I told you about the bear flag. Uh, the technical target of the bear flag is actually down to seventeen thousand. There was this head and shoulder, and the technical target of that head and shoulder comes down to fourteen thousand seven hundred and one. And uh, one more thing, I do want to tell you that uh, the course here, you, cannot, uh, you can always buy and check out this course for what I'm teaching you, everything that I'm teaching you right now. And uh, this is going to bump to $249 very, very soon. So get it while it's already cheap right now. You can always message me on the Discord. And uh, when you come on the Discord, it's going to, you know, I can give you a discount whenever you want a discount. You can pay with cryptocurrency, okay? So there's an option of paying with crypto. Anyway. Now back into the charts right now, um, the, uh, the scenario is the following, okay? Uh, previously, I'm just going to give you a very quick recap, and that's the 4-hour time frame right here. And when you look at the 4-hour time frame, you can see that that was your left shoulder, your head here, the right shoulder, you went to the downside, you went up, you got rejected here, and I uploaded this one uh, explaining all this scenario for 15 minutes straight and telling you that this is my take, right? And it is actually coming in into play. Right now, maybe you are believing in it because when it was up here, people want wouldn't believe that it's gonna go down but you know what we do have two things to talk about in this video number one is gonna be the evening star okay so if I just uh, place this stick a little bit here to the right side and uh, I do want to zoom in into that candlestick pattern what do you see the the green candle the doji in the middle and the red candle when you combine three of them they make up three uh, you know, evening star, not three white soldier. I was about to say three white soldier, but they actually make evening star. I have already done the Google for you, and this is how it looks like. This is the explanation. So close one, you know, they, they have a bullish closing, and we do have a bullish closing. We do have a gap, uh, you know, like a doji in the middle, and this is your doji right in there in the middle, right? And then the third candle becomes the red one, and that's going to be a bearish candle. When you combine these three candles, they make up an evening star, and that's bearish. It's meant to go down. Now, in order for us to invalidate the evening star, you must come up and break 32,000, okay? So now it's important to break 32,000. All of a sudden, the levels have changed. Uh, you know, it, it, it's now new levels. Now, that's one hint in itself. The biggest icing on the cake that I really want to talk about, you know, yesterday also, there's one more thing before I tell you that. Uh, on the four hour time frame, I talked about the RSI and the fact that the RSI has a major support level that you're looking for in the next coming future. So, this is how the RSI looks like uh, first support right there, second support right here, third support right there, fourth one, fifth one. A little bit of a gap is left and down here, you're going to see one more support bounce, one more support bounce. And that can offer an amazing entry opportunity. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to take that trade if it actually does that uh, not only am I gonna save my money but I'm gonna actually have a nice amazing entry okay now that's the daily uh, sorry that's that was the four hour time frame let's talk about the daily are you guys ready for another biggest talk that people are not talking about you know I hate when youtubers are not honest and this is one of those youtubers who is going to be honest with you let's talk about the Bollinger bands okay so here is the fun part drum roll please and it goes boom 
Have you ever seen the Bollinger Bands? Do you know what the Bollinger Bands really is all about? This is an amazing indicator, okay? Again, if you want to learn all of this thing, it's an 18 hours of content of me teaching you my best of what I know for six years, man. I mean, it's something, right? Now, the Bollinger Bands, they show the lowest part right here. Actually, to introduce you to the Bollinger Bands, we have the upper band, we have the middle band, and we have the lower band, right? You actually got overextended and you really got overextended to the upper band. You came down and you bounced off the middle band a little bit and now you've lost the middle band. I actually want to zoom in here to tell you what's going on in here, okay? So that's how your Bollinger Bands look like at the moment, okay? So uh, the upper band got lost, the middle band got lost. There's only one place left and that is to come down to the lower band and that's where you're going to find support. And the, the best part about the Bollinger Band, uh, you know, uh, analysis is that whenever you came down to the Bollinger Bands, that's when you actually pumped to the upside. Now, for example, in here you got overextended and you came down and you lost the middle band and then you came to the lowest band, right? That's the same thing I'm telling you. You came up here, you came down, maybe you're going to lose the middle band and come down to the lowest band of them all, okay? So that actually does show that there's one more drop pending. A lot of hints, the RSI, the head and shoulder, the Bollinger Bands, the market phases that I talked about, that this is going to be a redistribution until you don't come down to accumulation phase and then go back up. So everything is clicking right now at the moment. Hope this one is going to help you big time. And uh, that's it for today's update on, uh, you know, Luna Classic. Let's see what happens. My take still remains to the downside. It's really important now to go back up to 32,000 and above to continue a little bit higher. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Hello, office.